I love thinking about space. It's the ultimate bigger picture, and there's something humbling and unifying about seeing humanity from a planetary perspective. In this spirit, I'd like to share with you a frame of reference where space becomes time, where times of day become locations. And this begins with a simple question. Where is sunset? I want you to close your eyes and imagine the Earth. It's a perfect sphere floating in front of you. The North Pole is at the top and the South Pole on the bottom. To your left is the Sun. And so the left half of Earth is shining bright with its light, while the right half is in shadow. It's spinning slowly to the right, and as it moves, you can see oceans and continents sliding from light to darkness. Separating these halves is a perfectly straight line right down the middle of the Earth. And that line is sunset. Every street light turning on for the night, every person pausing to admire the colorful clouds, is right on that line. And of course, it goes further than just sunsets. In order to get a better view, you'll need to move upwards. Slide up around the Earth until you're just above the North Pole. Looking down now, you can see the Earth continuing to spin, counterclockwise. The left half is still bright, the right dark. But now you can see sunrise as well. It's up at the top, where the Earth rotates out of shadow. Most of the planet's toast and waffles are brought into existence and consumed within a few degrees of that transition. Shift your gaze 45 degrees left from sunrise, and you'll find 9 a.m. If you were closer, you might see a veiny band of glitter there, constant even as the Earth turns. These are traffic jams, masses of commuters in a rush to get to work on time. The planet is like a pie chart laid out below you, and the next third of it, which goes from 9 a.m. nearly all the way until sunset, contains everyone working 9 to 5 jobs. The Earth's rotation is inexorable beneath all of this, carrying humanity slowly around from the workday's start to the complementary traffic jam near sunset. And if you go just a little bit further around, you'll reach the dark side of the Earth, a perfect half of the planet where the greater part of humanity is forever lying motionless, facing blindly out at the stars. So from your point of view, high above the North Pole, you can see all human lives overlaid and neatly organized into sections. Morning, noon, and evening are places to you. And this isn't just some neat coincidence or indirect correlation. Those places are the definitions of those times. If the Earth were spinning faster or slower, mornings might come closer or further apart for those on Earth. But for you, they would always be that line between light and dark at the top of the planet. This is the true nature of time on a daily scale. There is no such thing as morning in space. And on Earth, morning is a place, a place that always exists and a place that everyone visits once a day.